Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods, and we are doing the monthly map spread for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August. Guys, please remember these are general reading times, fluid and energies can be reversed if you are here for the first time welcome aboard welcome to my channel and if you've been kind enough to come back thank you so very much welcome back guys when it comes to the monthly map spread we are now trying to look at our month through a wider lens tap into different energies not just specific one like you know career or money and love and romance -uh. we're gonna see where what all is happening how they are interacting these energies are interacting with each other and we are ready scorpio seems you are not ready the cards are like uh -uh. no uh very uh, laid back how come very laid back seems like there's something that's coming up that you have to do but you don't feel like doing it but you know that you have to do it's like you know what one of those let's say travel plans or one of those meetings that you know are, is important or even like a homework that you need to do for something and you're like i know i have to do it but i don't feel like doing it that's the kind of dragging your feet energy that i feel right now what is it is it because you are too distracted by somebody is it look i'm talking about distraction and temptation is right here by the way this is how we started with crabbies these two cards were there so yeah water signs what is it right now it feels like you are being distracted let's see where we are going further there is clearly a connection here that we are talking about a connection maybe that you're trying to get over from the past that's helping you is it kind of a rebound there's something that flipped in here what is it emperor wow quite an energy here i do not know whether this is yours or not let's see when it goes further but right now i feel like this two of waters you're trying to distract yourself with a new connection right now in the picture to get over the past feels like a rebound and this person is quite successful i feel this emperor this gives the vibe of the other energy that we are talking about the other fish in this two of water what is this is this the fish that you are trying to get over from or is this the one that you are now connecting to let's see let's see because there is distraction here someone or something some energy is keeping you away from what you need to do because you just don't want to do it you need to do it but you just don't want to do it it's just too much seven of air seven of air is seven of swords and we all know that seven of swords is a card of not necessarily everything true coming on the surface it's like things are under covers in some way however when it comes to the good tarot this card actually represents seeking truth uh, looking at things from your angle and not necessarily following the social norms making your own path you know carving your own way so to say probably everybody is telling you that this distraction is not good for you but you're like you know what i'll see where it goes i don't know but this is distracting we're gonna clarify this emperor in a minute the world look i'm telling you there is something that you are running away from there is something from the past there's something that got wrapped up three of air is a heavy energy it is the energy of the three of swords you're trying to get past that pain uh, trying to work on the acceptance of it that it happened for my good it was not meant to be it was not 
you know, serving my higher purpose, this energy or this project or whatever this was had to end and this experience was needed for me to grow. And now that I've learned, I need to move past this. So you are at this time at the juncture where you need to look at things from a different angle so that new opportunities open up. There is this lock and the key is with you for you to look for this and open it up for yourself. There are many worlds waiting for you, many opportunities waiting for you. Well, we got to do what we got to do. We cannot just keep delaying. Look, 10 of fire. I'm telling you, there is something that we are releasing. There is some past energy that needs to be released for us to reach this new phase, to be at the juncture where we can, you know, get started. My attention is going again, again to this emperor. Okay. Let's see what we have quite a bit actually. Messenger of water. Messenger of water is love. Lots of love here. This is also being comfortable in your skin. If you're not, you need to accept. This is giving respect irrespective of the stature, social stature that you have to each other. This is also addressing some inner emotions, you know, looking straight in the eye and not turning your back from there anymore. Yeah. There are some ugly truths that need to be faced. There is something painful that is there that needs to be released and we need to confront our emotions for us to set ourselves free from whatever this heaviness is. What is this distraction? I do not know. There is some very independent energy that's here. You got to work on something. Probably there is something that you need to work on your own and it is needed but there is a distraction of sorts and you feel that this is what can help you release this painful whatever four of earth yeah you are seeking some kind of you know grounding energy there is something that you're holding on to four of earth is the four of pentacles energy you know that defensive holding on to whatever you've got but you need to come out of this ace of waters there is love around we need to address this pain through love through that lens through that angle there's ace of waters two of water so whatever this is the new energy that i feel is there that word it has good intention and it's good for you it is how you approach it is the problem you're approaching it or taking it as a mere distraction you know it's like a rebound but there's more to this i feel there's more to this there it's just not that and you might feel sad or bad about it later that you did not treat someone well or you did not pay attention to your own emotions you did not respect your own feelings somehow i feel so that's the reason why we need to you know confront our emotions are we no we are not okay it was just a slip 10 of earth taking responsibility people 10 of earth is not always about abundance uh, about you know, lots of money coming your way. Nine of earth, ten of earth. This is all about taking responsibility here, I feel. We have the wheel of fortune. Look, there is change in the air with the world and the wheel of fortune coming in. Yes, we need to keep an eye on the target. And we need to stand in our truth. You are told this. This is like an advice coming to you. We got to know what we are doing magician see this is a very tricky 
energy of the ma magician you can really trick yourself into an illusion and feel as if it's reality and you can also make magic happen in to your reality so you see it's just the way you approach this energy is neutral so is this new energy that is there it is how you are approaching it is what is going to either leave constructive energy or constructive vibe in the scene or a rather destructive one let us clarify people Scorpios, you cannot drag your feet for too long. There is something that needs to be addressed clearly and we are not ready to do that. We are running away from it. But with this king of air, seems like you will soon be put in a spot where there is not going to be any more running away from this. Two of waters. Let's clarify this very loving energy here. What is this spirit? Why is this very loving energy getting associated with distraction? Because it's just all high on emotion shit. That's why. Moon, are we really addressing our emotions in a way that we should? There's lots in the undercurrent that we are running away from. Emperor, let's clarify Emperor. So keen on this Emperor energy. Please clarify Emperor in the spread. Whoa, look. Six of Pentacles. Man, this is that energy, that King of Air Emperor who is going to be like, hey, you need to address this and bring a balance here. You need to have a balanced approach. This is somebody who's going to hold you by the ear and be like, what the hell are you doing? get back on track there is someone who is in authority someone who's elder than you someone that you listen to who's gonna be like stop the shit pull up your socks and do what needs to be done you need to stand in your truth how long are you going to brood over whatever has happened in the past take responsibility look that 10 of earth nine of earth taking responsibility was coming in again and again and with this king of pentacle again is the one who takes responsibility you know yes he it, it has to do with money but here i feel it is more to do with grounding eight of cups that ten of fire releasing releasing something from the past turning your back and just being on this new path but first, we need to address the underlying emotions, underlying current from which we are running away, which is this Ten of Swords, Ten of Fire, Ten of Swords. The Seven of Air is all about that. It is. And there is a new world which seems very promising with this Three of Cups that's there for you to unlock. But before you do that, there are closures that need to be achieved there are emotions that need to be addressed there are people in some ways that you need to disconnect from whatever that is that you need to address leave the baggage behind face your emotions and be respectful to them messenger of water it comes with the page of cups yeah Look, we have so many seahorses here. And seahorses is such a loving being. Seahorses in the spiritual realm represents good luck, that wheel of fortune that's here. It's also a symbol of strength and power. Look how many seahorses we have. Two here, one here, one here. It's just lots of abundance, lots of fortune, lots of good times, lots of celebration. Lots of positivity that is awaiting you. Lots of good luck that is going to come in. But we need to address this with respect and patience. Our own emotions. Let's come face to face and confront from what we are running. And seeking distraction. 
this needs to be addressed Scorpios something really needs to be addressed and this Emperor is not your energy and neither is this king of air as I said that this is the one energy who in some ways has a say in your situation and is the one who is like gonna hold you by the ear and be like what the f are you doing we need to bring in some balance let's talk about this this could very well be a therapist you guys might be going to a therapy session to address this all we have the seven of cups in the reverse with this four of earth there is no scope for confusion anymore we need to address this emotion we need to address this confusion we need to address this simple as that look the devil coming in there are some past traumas past addictions past unhealthy ways that we had been running away from that we do not want to address because it brought a lot of pain to you and as i said we need to look at all of this we need to address all of this we need to confront all of this through a loving lens through a loving angle it is okay whatever has happened in the past and we all go off track there is no point running away from it or distracting yourself or beating yourself up no we got to address it people whatever this devil energy is whatever evil that you feel that was in you around you whether it was somebody else whether it was addiction whether it was um substance abuse whether it was unhealthy relationships whether it was unhealthy habits whatever it is we need to address this look we have the ten of cups with the nine of pentacles this is you taking the responsibility on your own for your happiness claiming that new world that has so much of positivity in pipelines for you queen of wands with the ten of earth this is you holding your ground you being determined to move forward king of air with the four of wands look this is having a clear vision where you want to go further towards your stability towards those stable grounds in the future towards this new world wherein you want you know all these distractions all this pain all the energy that had to be left behind or that should be left behind you are going to address all of that and then move forward and how you're going to move forward this is as if you know you're untying a knot and figuring things out with the help of a therapist or with the help of an elder or with the help of a well-wisher as i said when it comes to the magician card it is how you are going to address the energy that is here for you to address that is here to stay right you can make or break things the way you are going to approach it that is what i want to say six of swords towards your peaceful future towards your peace of mind that is where we are headed that is what we need to do stop running away okay let's pull up our socks deal with this emotion deal deal with what this is that we are dragging that we need to release from the past that has brought kind of pain that you did not think you could possibly feel take our responsibility take responsibility of the part that we played in all of that and that's it bring in that balance back in life we have the six of swords here we have the six of coins there six six is here we have ace of waters here 
we have the world here this is new beginnings we have 10 10 here we also have we have 10 10 10 here so this is all winding up 10 10 10 is you know endings and beginnings so there is this energy of you know going through that tunnel you're almost at the end don't stop now okay don't stop now let us get you a final word from the yogic paths oracle deck we already have two we have radha and kappa i'm told first read kappa and then radha radha was the lover of krishna by the way kappa is where we are heading right now let us go to kappa the early dosha grounding nurturing and heavy that's what i'm talking about when i told you this 10 of earth nine of earth king of earth this is finding your grounding you are grounded into earth's energy and carry its subtle calmness which makes others naturally gravitate towards you you bring peace understanding and comfort to your community and are the shoulder anybody can lean on you embody earth's wisdom and are anchored to her vast life force you may have created a life or are envisioning one that will bring you great contentment and stability a true home surrounded by people you love you do not need to search for more the deepest peace you will find is where you are just remember never to become too attached to anything as all is temporary that's one of the biggest wisest advice this is the ultimate wisdom right nothing is permanent everything is temporary so relish everything that you are experiencing but do not get too attached probably you did and that is the reason why leaving the past behind is more difficult than you had anticipated radha goddess of passionate love and longing are you in love you very well may soon be that was our first card two of water so if you are connected to somebody people and you are using that just as distraction and not really respecting your emotion and those of others because we have mooned with that be mindful of that all right you might just be screwing up something that can turn out to be absolutely beautiful radha is the goddess of euphoric bliss and deep surrender when you gaze into the eyes of your lover She's the passionate lover of Krishna who gave up everything to be in his arms. Radha represents the desire to merge with your beloved and lose yourself in the utter ecstasy that is love. If you aren't already in love, it's well on its way and already occurring all around you. So be open to receiving it, okay? Don't be so uptight about the past that you're not able to release whatever shit that happened that you cannot see how beautiful this whatever new distraction is and what all it can open up and how it can change your world that is the reason we need to address and take responsibility and find grounding allow yourself to lose yourself in the divine dance of romance for love is just you experiencing your own soul in another body how beautiful scorpios that is what it is there's some love coming your way do not dismiss it as a fling there is whatever that needs to be addressed from the past yes that doesn't mean that we are going to shut the doors of our heart so let's not do that scorpios let's be open to new romance that let's be open to our own emotions let's be open to winding things up let's be open to release and receive and on that note my loves i'm going to take your leave thank you so very much for joining me it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods